homomorphism group scheme. Last time we stopped here. So homomorphism group scheme. Surely it has to be a morphism in the category of a fine R scheme. Compatible with the morphism to spec R. But it's not enough. More condition such that the induced morphism is the homomorphism of groups for all Z in this category. What does this mean? Translate into the language of R module. It's since we are all considering morphism of fine group schemes, so we translate to the morphism of ring. For G equals spec A and H spec B, the morphism corresponding to homomorphism R modules phi from B to A, making the following diagram commutes. Wow, this is really big diagram. So many things to check. So, why? Let's see what are this telling us. Firstly, let's see. What does, for example, we just took some example, okay? For example, if this is change. So recall mu is from the multiplication structure on, on the group scheme. So this will tell us mu if I compose is mu b equal mu a compose with phi tensor phi what does this tell us? what does this tell us? So, find the homomorphism. So, if you do something here, I multiply element of B, B1, B2, then map it to another group. If it's group homomorphism, surely you, you would guess it should be mu A. Phi B1, Phi B2, right? Well, since we are using the language of tensor product, better we write here. It corresponds to the domains B tensor base B. So it map to what? You want to map to this? Yes? So this is coming from here is just telling you that this preserves homomorphism. So each commutative diagram is just telling you something. This one should tell you preserved identity. And mu e will tell you what? Yeah, why are we doing mu mu e? Mu e will tell you uh, just recall recall yourself what is mu e telling you in last section in the last video. We say mu e is to make this R module become a ring, become an R algebra, make it really a ring. This is just the ring multiplication on A. So if you preserve with mu A, what well, what does it mean? Be more sub precise. So this is a mu A. Sorry, not mu M in this time. Well, the community with M is just telling you this is a ring homomorphism. It's nothing else. Just telling it's ring homomorphism. It preserves multiplication. But this one is not telling you it's ring homomorphism. It's telling you that translated to the group scheme level, this is this is the one to making this a group homomorphism. Okay, mu is to make this, and this m may just make yourself a ring homomorphism. So each community diagram here corresponds to something desired. And you can expect this, we do not explain more here. The sum of 
two homomorphism is defined by the commutative diagram. The sum of two morph homomorphism is defined by the commutative diagram. So this is the definition. So we know what it is, right? So G one is through phi one is through phi is induced phi product with phi. Where the upper arrow is the diagonal morphism, okay? So G map to this through diagonal. And the lower arrow, the group operation of H. So it's through mu. So this one. So phi plus phi is defined, phi plus phi is defined to be this first delta, then phi product to phi, then composed with mu. Okay? We leave it to the reader to check that this is a homomorphism group scheme and making those diagrams mu. Okay? The category of commutative affine group scheme over spec R is additive, it's additive category. Okay, now we come to the Cartier duality. So surely Cartier is Pierre. Cartier, Pierre, Cartier, Cartier, Pierre, Cartier. C'est un mathématicien français, d'accord? Qui est, qui est un membre de l'association Bovagi. We now assume that the group scheme spec A is finite flat over R. So A is locally free. A is locally free R module finite type. Yes, since since we're in the case of Nazarene, I'm sure. Well let's first recall since there is talking about flat finite let's first recall some general result from community algebra which we already posted it in the previous community algebra I can see that is a uh, an R be community ring M a finitely generated R mode Is the following equivalent just finitely generated R mode? The first is made projective. Second is finitely presented. And locally free. In the weaker case, in the weaker sense. Which means for any prime ideal, the localization is free. The third is in the strong case, in the strong sense, which means for HFI, we this. Such that this is locally free. This free, okay. That's it. That's all we need. Those telling us projective. You see, if it's finite, finitely generated, our modi. Then it's projective, equivalent to locally free in the stronger sense. Or finitely presented and locally free in the weaker case. 
if you are Nazarene, it's the same, the stronger or low. Or weaker case, so if it's finite, if it's Nazarene, finitely generated module A is projective is equivalent to its locally free. So it's finite, we're already in the finitely generated case. So for the Nazarene case, flat is just to uh, For the in Nathering case, and if it's finitely generated, then flat is bigger than this. Actually, it's so if m is finitely generated, then m is flat, it's equivalent to mp is finite, is locally free, mp is free. So, in the weaker sense, and suppose. R is not running. But actually, I checked on math overflow. They said the uh, nothing is not necessary. So in whatever sense, we know this is not a very strong condition. It's just A is locally free, as they said. So uh, finite type as a module. This is just an old terminology which means finitely generated so in our case we just know a a is finitely generated and locally free as our model okay that's what we said fine I'll go so we use a star to define the homomorphism as our module from a to r this is as module for sure Homomorphism. So we you know this to be its R U. So this should still be a module R module. It lies in the diagram identifying R with R U and the U of a tensor with the tensor of U. We obtain homomorphism of R module like this. What we are doing is we want to, and there's some nice case to make the dew still uh, find good skin. Glass and the self dew table above shows that the morphism satisfies the external or cognitive half algebra with that depose, and therefore this is a finite value group skin with respect R2. So our condition for locally free R module, we are proving that is new. Finding this way is still uh, making it uh, half the algebra. So I think the point is just of the algebra you have multiplication and co-multiplication you need that go you need so when you do you still have all those things still making you a half algebra definition this g star is called a cutting of due of g so this do of this Group scheme G is called Cartier Dew, and if I is more of a finite flat group scheme, so G and H are group scheme. If phi is more of a finite flat group scheme, just define corresponding to homomorphism ring from B to A, then the symmetry diagram 3.2. See this to change the direction. I will still change the direction. Nothing happens, still works. That's, that's what I mean by the symmetry diagram. The symmetry diagram shows that the five star is still corresponding to the modern group scheme. So if I do the idea, we can try our own factor. 
from the Shadow Bolt if I know to grab the meter if I get speed to the up. Well, this fuck very radical. And do for any game in that game. Okay, cool, but I always have to do that game when I get that game. But as we say, identifying this new principal data, this principal data gives you this shoe crash bound to first. Yes. So what is this? It's there's no work again from GD product GD. So first one up with they buy five D to okay it's all the other direction so so first is H2 product is H2 to H2 you. This one is for find you. So this induced one we should call it find you from find you. Okay. So by the definition of the summation of the morphism. Here is find you product find you then the more reason here making this diagram commutes we know by dual line it is it this but it's also by definition of summation it's just find you some is find you. Okay, so that's why we say this, this is okay. To mark the particularity function is involute, indeed natural evaluation isomorph, inducing factorial isomorph. Indeed, so what is this? It's just mean this. Factorial isomorphism from double beam to itself. Factorial isomorphism from double beam to itself. 